Hello Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo and I'm finally getting around to showing you what was in the big black box that I got on Life Day morning. Slash Christmas morning. And I know Life Day is actually on another day. It's just that we kind of put all the winter holidays together into one day. Because otherwise, man, we would be celebrating all the time. Which really isn't a problem. We are well into the new year. So far, as a matter of fact, that it is no longer a new year. So, remember the big black box that you saw? This black box in the Christmas video that we've already shared? I'm about to show you what was inside. Or what still is inside. Until now. Because I took it out. But now, before Jedi could uh, take out this book. Uh, this is the Empire Strikes Back Mix and Match Storybook, a vintage item. Did not have this. And the idea with this book is that you could flip over these panels and tell a variety of stories. Uh, I never knew that something like this existed. And then when I found out, uh, I, I flipped for it. Of course, I use gift cards a lot. Uh, I earn them courtesy of go.tagjag.com slash free apps and go.tagjag.com slash free points. Uh, Jedi saw this at the top of the box, and then, like a few weeks ago, or a few weeks later, I found someone selling another one of these locally at a pretty good price, and so Jedi has her own vintage The Empire Strikes Back mix-and-match storybook alongside her modern stuff. Moving along, you did see, I think, a bit of this, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. God, it's been so long. Uh, but I'm still happy to have it. I uh, did ride Star Tours recently when I visited Disney World. You've seen those videos, at least the, the videos that I was able to upload, uh, specifically with the haul that I picked up at Disney World. This is Ambush at Star Wars, <clears throat> at Star Tours, and the box is in pretty decent shape. Not perfect. This is not brand new. This is actually uh, somewhat older. But the reason I wanted it is, number one... Darth Vader, I wouldn't say it's a unique Darth Vader, but certainly in this array of characters, I was ra I'm rather happy to have it. These are Sky Troopers, and really the only Sky Troopers I had, or now have, uh, Boba Fett here. What I'm probably going to do is take some uh, polish. They actually make a polish uh, for this kind of plastic to kind of uh, buff things out and, and make it a bit more... Uh, I guess, clear, translucent. Uh, it's a bit smoky. And let's see if I can find the exact year. Yep, 2011. So almost as old as uh, the, 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 the time that I, I started this video. Um, but anyway, I'm probably going to keep this inside, everything inside the box. The box is in decent shape. Would love to have a second set, if only to have uh, the Sky Troopers out of the package. Rather nice. I, I, I wish they still did this, and they kind of do... I'm just a huge fan of, of figures. I mean, it's, it's, it's always going to be that way. If it's a Star Wars figure, I'm going to be a fan. Now, they, they do still make these, kind of. And I'm going to show you here the two sets that I have. One is going to be a package that I'm going to open, and the other one is a package that I'm going to keep intact. I am inspecting to see if I can discover which package is in slightly better shape. Because that one will stay intact, and the other one will not. Boy, I'm not detecting too many differences between the two, which is a good sign. Actually, this corner seems to be a bit crunched, so this is the package I'm going to open. Yeah, right here. I, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to uh, to go through things right now, because I got a lot to get through outright. Uh, I may unbox one or two things uh, in here, but uh, this is one that uh, I wanted to show, because Droid Factory is a thing. You saw that I built... 10 Astromechs at the Build-A-Droid, uh, well, it wasn't a store, it was a little kiosk in one of the stores in downtown Disney. These are a series of droids. I like Star Wars figures, I like droid figures, and this is what they're doing, at least in, in recent years, uh, with uh, figure sets uh, going in and, and, and producing a series of droids, seemingly. At least those are the, the more recent sets that, that I've discovered, for whatever reason. And these, apparently, are all from the film Rogue one, which I would imagine everybody has now seen. So I will be opening these and putting them somewhere so that I know if Jedi gets to them, it won't be a problem. Uh, moving along, I'm going to go with whatever I see here at the top of the box because everything was uh, configured in a certain way as to fit into the box. I have not just one R2 H16, but oh, I hope that was the one I was going to open. I think it was. Uh, two! 
Uh, last year, they produced, uh, oh gosh, what was the droid's name? H230? Something that, like, ho, 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 ho. It, it, was a, it was kind of a, a little pun. Well, anyway, I have two of these, and it seems that this is the one I'm going to open, and I'm going to open this one right now. I've got to be careful. I, I don't want to accidentally open the wrong one, and the reason why is because the, the corner is dented. And as a matter of fact, as I kind of open this to kind of uh, tell you what's going on here, I'm going to walk over here and get that droid I was referring to. I got two of those last year as well. This is the way it was decorated. It came with a, a little Santa cap. Very uh, holiday themed. If, if white and red and green and gold are holiday color, colors. And silver? Do I have silver? Silver and gold? Anybody? No silver. Just gold. Uh, an exclusive figure. I'm going to continue now with the opening of R2H16. Also holiday themed. To my knowledge, uh, the only way to get the uh, stocking cap in terms of uh, the droids, and in Build-A-Droid fashion, you can, oh, let's see here, is it gonna go on like that? Okay, there's a little hole in the top, and a little peg in the middle. Get it to align just like so, and put it on a little tight. It's, it's really jammed in there. Oh, I see, there's a little notch in the back because there was a, I guess a little, let's see if I can read the back of the card to find out what it is. Oh, they don't tell you. They tell you everything else about the droid, except for what that is, what that what that thing that, that that was. It could be a Herner optical holographic projector ish on the back. Okay, well, whatever. So now I have two very winter holiday themed droids. They will stand next to each other here in my play shop. Can't have too many figures. That's the way I say. I mean, that's that's the way I think. That's what I say. I'm now mixing. Sentences as I move through. Uh, this probably should have been shown next to the other vintage book. It's The Mystery of the Rebellious Pilot, a Star Wars vintage book with art. It's in decent shape. This is a book that I would hope to be able to pass along to Jedi. It's one of the reasons why it was uh, 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 in this box is because I've got to be careful in terms of what I might hand her today. She's about two and a half years old and she may very well destroy things. And wow, Chewbacca looks evil. In this picture right there. Wow. Looks, looks downright evil. Kind of scary. Let's see here. The year it was published. Uh, 1979. 1979. That's how old this book is. Older than most of the people who know uh, I exist. Kind of funny. Also finally got the collector's edition of The Force Awakens. And this is specifically the, the one in 3D. Not that I plan on watching the movie in 3D. The reason why I would have wanted to have this set is specifically, not because of the digital movie. I already had the uh, the digital movie. Uh, although, wow, it would have been nice to have this because then I wouldn't have had to pay for the digital movie outright because it comes with the digital movie. Um, but you get behind-the-scenes bonus features, including the audio commentary with J.J. Abrams' deleted scenes, including when uh, Chewie rips Unkar Plutz hand off, which by the way, the figure Unkar Plutt, I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually take his hand off, his arm off. I think I've got Unkar Plutt over here for Jedi to play with. I do. Okay, hang on. Just showing you this for the completeness sake. Um, they didn't know. Hasbro didn't know if that was going to make it into the movie. So you can actually take his hand out. Because the Wookiee rips, at least I hope that was the hand I could take out. Um, uh, because Chewbacca basically rips his arm off. So you could take off part of his arm. Unkar Plutt there. Not a Christmas gift. This was a, uh, a Christmas gift. Collector's edition of the Blu-ray. The only physical copy I have of The Force Awakens. Everything else is digital, but happy to have that. Put that there. Now, let's see here. How am I going to do all this? Um, I guess I'm going to lift this one out. Probably going to keep all of these figures inside of the box, uh, if only because I, I have most of them. Uh, they are basically repacks, but this set, nice gift set, only available here at the store. Uh, picked it up with a gift card, go.tagjag.com slash free apps, or go.tagjag.com slash free points. And uh, it's, it's just nice to have on display. Uh, even though, again, I already had a, a variety of them out of, of the box. I just I like how these sets look. More than anything. They just, it just looks amazing just standing there. Um, but this was exclusive. Nothing incredibly unique. I got it at a good price, like half off anyway. So, of course, I had to, to spring for it. 
this was something that I found at a local, uh, it was like a comic store. Uh, I don't really use my Nintendo 3DS. I still have one. Uh, believe it or not, I sold my uh, PSP, my Darth Vader PSP. I should have held on to it. I sold it because I, I was just like, ah, I'm never going to play with this again. And then my Darth Vader collection took off after I sold it. But anyway, I, I now have this case for a game system that I don't really use. And uh, it says on the back, the force is strong with this case. I, I, I have two Nintendo 3DSs. Not going to be playing them on a, a regular basis, if only because um, I'm not really into that kind of gaming as much as Jedi might be. She'll have uh, that to play with. This is probably going to stay in the packet, uh, package, though. Um, I do still have my GBA, my uh, SP, Advanced SP. Love it. This I can't even tell you how old it is. Inside, just to tell you the kind of games I'm playing, Act Activision <clears throat> Anthology. Activision Anthology, some of my favorite Atari games of all time. I also have other uh, games in here, in case you were wondering. I'm just gonna, this is a little bonus here. I've got Lego Star Wars, the video game, GBA. I also have, uh, let's see here, The Empire Strikes Back, Game Boy game. I also have Star Wars Obi-Wan's Adventures. I also have, let's see if I can find the other ones here. Star Wars, I think this is, uh, yeah, Capcom's Star Wars. That one's got a case. This Star Wars game, different edition to my knowledge, or at least a different label. Uh, Super Return of the Jedi. See, I, I, I play games every so often. We also have Star Wars The New Droid Army. I remember when that was brand new. Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. Star Wars Trilogy, Apprentice of the Force. And Star Wars Racer, one of the, the best games I ever played, and I ended up beating all the way through, like, first place each one of the levels. Uh, the, the Racer was interesting because um, I, uh, and I have other games in here, but they're all, like, Tetris variants. Uh, the, uh, uh, the interesting thing is that uh, the, the Racer game, if you noticed it was different, has a battery compartment. I assume for game saves, uh, because why else would you have a battery compartment? Uh, I have a Darth Vader LED light. I couldn't remember if I had this before, but I found it on sale. So I was like, oh, okay, for two bucks? Yeah, why not? I could use so many other Darth Vader things, and you can, you, you can never have too many of these either. Okay, you can. I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm getting there soon, soon. Uh, we've got this. The Ezra Bridger character car. To my knowledge, uh, the only way of getting Ezra Bridger character car because I'd seen the other cars, but this uh, particular set was at a, uh, like a, one of those uh, cheap discount stores. And so, of course, I, I, I plucked it. I took it from the shelf. So I could have the Ezra Bridger, Ezra Bridger car. I haven't been uh, a completist, though, as far as um, getting all the, the, the various toys that might be available. Um, if only because it, it can be difficult. Because they produce so many of them. That's not a complaint, by the way. So now, speaking of cars, I'm going to go ahead and show you this series of cars, uh, also relatively new. Uh, eight of Eight. This is a Jakku car. And this is, the, the, seriously, this is, these are new, uh, or new-ish. Endor. And I have two sets of these, so I'll be able to open one set. I'm, I'm just going to make sure I've double-checked on the, the quality of, of the boxes to make sure I put away the right set. This is Tatooine. This is Camino, otherwise known as Seattle. We also have Mustafar. What's nice about these vehicles is you can actually see the planet name on the vehicle the, the, itself. Uh, Dagobah. Right there. Wasn't really into uh, these uh, die-cast vehicles uh, when I was younger because they weren't really interesting to me. Hoth. They had Star Wars. Oh, yeah. And last but not least in that series, Bespin. Bespin. They also produced, uh, and this is a different set or a different series, uh, based on Macquarie Arts, uh, a series of Macquarie Hot Wheels vehicles. So this was also one that I was able to find uh, with Darth Vader on it. Darth Vader vehicle. I do have the full set of these as well. Just not, I didn't get it uh, for Christmas because I, I couldn't find them in, in time. Um, but I, I do have them elsewhere. Uh, they may show up in a in a future video with like 
cars, Star Wars cars, because why not? Jedi is going to have fun with them. Trust me. Just, just, just stay tuned for, for that. Not, not immediately, because that may take another four months to get to. <laughs> um, I got a series of magnets that you might have remembered from the uh, the haul that I did. These were all half off. Uh, BB-8 R2-D2, Millennium Falcon Death Star, a TIE Fighter X-Wing, and then I also found later, uh, at half off out, uh, the other two magnets. And I'm going to probably be removing all of them from the packaging, if only because we have magnetic bars around here that, you know, Jedi kind of, she, 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 she plays with, so she moves the magnets around. Um, maybe in another year or so, I'll be ready to kind of let them be out there so that they don't get lost. Uh, Slave One and uh, Han Solo Carbonite. I was not going to spend $10 on any one of those sets. No way. Uh, it wasn't going to happen because that just, I couldn't do it. Like, five bucks? Okay, I can see. You know, but but I, I really don't like paying uh, full price for a lot of this stuff. Um, now, moving on, I think just about everything else I have in here, minus uh, the Darth Vader charger. Remember, this showed up in that haul, too. Three bucks was 30. 90% off. Man, when, I, when I'm telling you, man, <laughs> I save money. <laughs> Even on the stuff that I love. Uh, the Snow Trooper is now available in a uh, six-inch... Fa uh, a format. Uh, not my favorite scale, but I do love the sculpt. Uh, I will be removing a lot of the figures uh, from their uh, packaging. I just have to verify that I, I have them, you know, um, uh, in in great shape, stored away for, uh, I guess, posterity. I've got them on display in the, um, the butler's pantry downstairs. That's what they call I don't call it. We don't have a butler. Uh, if we did, his name would be Alfred, but we don't. Uh, Darth Ravon, uh, I know I have two of him, uh, and so what I'm probably going to be doing is uh, another video specifically unboxing the Black Series uh, from this particular series of uh, figures. Sabine, you might remember that Jedi has her own Sabine. This will be mine. Mine! 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 In a bad Yoda voice. And I'm pretty sure I can open all these. I'm Fairly confident I can. Uh, Scarif Stormtrooper. This is number 28. Scarif Stormtrooper. C-3PO Dark Red Arm. I have a Light Red Arm and a Dark Red Arm variant. And again, I, I may be opening these uh, soon. Very soon, because I want to get them out of the box. Especially this one right here. This... Oh, man. Sorry, someone was trying to... What the heck? My dad. My dad loves... He still loves using the phone. I, I do too. I'm, I'm live streaming this actually behind the scenes to my patrons at uh, geekfamilyfun.com and chrisperillo.com. This is the figure I've been wanting most. Adat -at driver. Now, I said driver. The box says Adat -at pilot. Hmm? Really? It's a variant. It's not a pilot. So there are two boxes, and I have both. Uh, the Adat -at pilot and the Adat -at driver. This one I'm out of all of them is the one I'm most looking forward to taking out of the box. I got one that it's going to remain in the box that I picked up when I went to Lucasfilm to watch Rogue One on launch day when Disney invited me down there. That's over in my Adat -At Driver collection since the Adat -At Driver holds a special place in my heart since it is my first Star Wars figure that I still have in pretty prime condition. Now I know you're thinking, wait a minute, you already had a, a Scarif uh, a Stormtrooper. I do, but notice the difference. One, I believe, is the squad leader, and the other is just a regular old uh, stormtrooper. So they're going to be, to my knowledge, releasing variants in each scale of uh, the, the Scarif Trooper, and I think there's one more that they're going to be producing. The Captain, possibly, if they haven't already produced it. Uh, but anyway, so there, there are variants there. Then, I'm not done. Oh. We have a Cassian Andor. This is a smaller scale Cassian Andor. Uh, three and three quarter inch. These black series, unfortunately, are exclusives, and I say unfortunately because they are impossible to find anywhere around uh, Seattle. It's maddening, actually. But uh, I, I've been picking up uh, duplicates of them as well, uh, one to keep in the box and one to remove. And I may be going through and, and doing a, a, an unboxing of this particular scale soon as well. Uh, a Darth Vader. I have one of these inside the box already, but I wanted a second one so that I could keep the other one in the box and take that one out. Emperor's Royal Guard. 
Super articulated. That's the thing about the Black Series. Super articulated. My favorite scale, absolutely. I wish they weren't exclusive, and I wish they would keep uh, producing more of these. <sighs> Why'd they have to be exclusive? Uh, Scarif Stormtrooper Squad Leader. Ah, sorry, Jen. A Jin, Jin Urso, and a Death Trooper in this scale. So these are, again, smaller scale. Let me go ahead and, just for argument's sake, in case you're not a collector, uh, see how they're different sizes? Even the boxes are different. One's six inch, and the other's three and three quarters. This is my favorite scale, because that's what I grew up with. But they're both super articulated, which means you can like pivot anything and everything. Or just about. Uh, then last but not least, I, I, I think these are the ones that I'm going to keep in the box. I have to verify. <laughs> I got a few extras so that we might be able to play with them with Jedi. Uh, the Snowtrooper, Darth Ravon, Sabine, Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, and a Princess Leia Organa. And this is 30 through 35 here in the box. Literally in a box. Let me see if I can get the two out that you have not yet seen. I'm trying to be as careful as I can because I think these boxes are in prime shape. Uh, Obi-Wan is going to stay in the box. I only need one of him because I have one that went out of the box as a part of the uh, exclusives uh, that uh, Hasbro sent. Uh, and you can get the Obi-Wan Kenobi with the, the table that Princess Leia Organa uh, stands on a hologram. You press the button and it talks. I think I did a video on it a while ago. Uh, then the uh, Princess Leia. Not incredibly happy with the face sculpt on this, but I did get two of them so that Jedi could have her own six inch scale Princess Leia action figure to play with and admire. And I think uh, that's it. That was everything that was inside the box. Thank you everybody for, uh, for tuning in uh, and uh, I guess enjoying this haul with me. I see at least two or three more videos that I'm going to be doing in the insanely near future if only to get things out of the box so I can pose and play. See, it's not just plug and play. It's pose and play. Or just play. Or pose. What can I say? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. I don't think I missed anything. <laughs> and believe it or not, there's way more to come. Uh, so, from our Star Wars family to yours, may the Force be with you.